Hello everyone, my name is Miss Lauren and I'm here from EVPL Oakland for story time today. Welcome! Today we're going to get started with our hello song. We are going to find our noses. Where's your nose? Mine's right here. What about your toes? Where are your toes? Mine are in my shoes today. Are yours in your shoes or are they out? We're going to clap our hands. And then we are going to beep our bellies. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Well, hello everybody. Can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. Touch your nose. Well, hello everybody. Can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. Well, hello everybody. Can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. Touch your toes. Well, hello everybody. Can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. Well, hello everybody. Can you clap your hands? Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Well, hello everybody. Can you clap your hands? Clap your hands. Well, hello everybody. Can you beep your belly? Beep your belly. Beep your belly. Well, hello everybody. Can you beep your belly? Beep your belly. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right, friends, now we're going to sing a song called Put the Beat on Your, and we are going to put the beat on our toes. Can you practice that? Putting the beat on your toes. Can you put a beat on your toes? We are going to put the beat on our bellies. And then we are going to put the beat in our hands. Awesome, I think you're ready. Let's start with our toes, are you ready? Put the beat on your toes, on your toes. Put the beat on your toes, on your toes. Put the beat on your toes, put the beat on your toes. Put the beat on your toes, now we stop. Put the beat on your belly, on your belly. Put the beat on your belly, on your belly. Put the beat on your belly, put the beat on your belly, put the beat on your belly, now we stop. Put the beat in your hands, in your hands. Put the beat in your hands, in your hands. Put the beat in your hands, put the beat in your hands, put the beat in your hands, now we stop. Let's do that again. Put the beat on your toes, on your toes. Put the beat on your toes, on your toes. Put the beat on your toes, put the beat on your toes, put the beat on your toes. Now we stop. Put the beat in your belly, in your belly. Put the beat in your belly, in your belly. Put the beat in your belly, put the beat in your belly, put the beat in your belly. Now we stop. Put the beat in your hands, in your hands. Put the beat in your hands, in your hands. Put the beat in your hands, put the beat in your hands, put the beat in your hands. Now we stop. Wonderful friends. Grown-ups, when we do songs like that, where we might do pausing or freezing or stopping, that helps children practice self-control over their body, which is an executive function skill that we need to develop as we get older so that we are able to be in control of our bodies, which is something that's really, really difficult for children to do. So the more we practice in fun ways through songs or playing games where we freeze or stop, the more control we are helping children develop over their bodies, which helps them grow overall. All right, friends, we are going to sing a song about going on a bus. We're going to go on a city bus with some animals. The first animal is a hippopotamus. And this is called a hippopotamus got on a city bus. So we are going to move our legs up and down like we're bouncing along on a bus. Are you ready? A hip, a hip, a hippopotamus got on, got on, got on a city bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, you're squishing us. A cow, a cow, a cow got on the bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, what does a cow say? Move over. A 
sheep, a sheep, a sheep got on the bus, and all, and all, and all the people said, what does the sheep say? Back up! Yes, let's do that again. A hip, a hip, a hippopotamus got on, got on, got on a city bus, and all, and all, and all the people said, you're squishing us! A cow, a cow, a cow got on the bus, and all, and all, and all the people said, what was it? Move over! A sheep, a sheep, a sheep got on the bus, and all, and all, and all the people said, back up! Wonderful! Wonderful! All right, that song reminds me of the story that we're going to read today because that song was about a city bus and we are going to read a story about a school bus. It's a school bus, it's big. And what color are school buses usually? Yellow, they're usually yellow. And this is a story about two kids that are waiting for the school bus to come and take them to school. Sometimes we have to wait a very long time for things and these kids have to wait a very long time. We are going to wait with them. The story is by Suzanne Bloom. She did the words and the pictures. And the story was published by Boyd's Mill Press. All right, this is Gus and this is Tess and they are waiting for the school bus. <gasps> Is this the bus for us, Gus? Oh, do you see something coming? Do you think that's their bus? It's yellow, like a school bus. Do you think that's it? Let's see. No, Tess, this is a, do you know what that is? It's a taxi. All right. Is this the bus for us, Gus? Do you think this is their bus? Oh, something's coming over here. What color is it? Blue, do we think this is their bus? No, Tess, that's not their bus. What is that? It's called a tow truck. You hook up cars on the back and it moves cars. We're still waiting. All right, is this the bus for us, Gus? Do you think this is their bus coming? Think it's coming right there? Let's see. Is that their bus? No, Tess, this is a, a fire engine or a fire truck. Yeah, there's the ladder over here. Wow, and there's the lights on top. All right, we're still waiting for our bus. Is this the bus for us, Gus? Is the bus coming? Do you think this is it right there? I see pink and green. Is this their bus? Let's see. No, Tess, that's not a bus. What is that? Do you know what that is? It's an ice cream truck. I would like to ride in an ice cream truck on the way to school. That would be fun. All right, ooh, you know what I noticed? There's a lot more people waiting with them. There's a lot of kids waiting for the bus to go to school. Do you think it's finally here? Is this the bus for us, Gus? Do you think this is their bus coming? It looks pretty big like a bus. What do you think? Let's see. No, Tess, this is a, a garbage truck. That's not a school bus. Oh boy, even more kids. Everyone is waiting, waiting, waiting. Is this the bus for us, Gus? Do you think this is their bus coming? Can you see it's tiny, tiny down here? It's yellow. And what color is a school bus? School buses are yellow too. Do you think this is going to be their bus? Let's see. <gasps> is that their bus? No, it's a, do you know what that is? It's called
called a backhoe. It's a construction vehicle. They can't ride in a backhoe to school. There's not enough room for those kids. All right, we're waiting, waiting, waiting. Look at all those kids. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine kids waiting. Nine kids waiting for the bus. Is this the bus for us, Gus? Think it's coming? <gasps> yes, Tess, this is the bus for us. Let's go. <gasps> They're all getting on the bus to go to school. They had to wait a long, long, long time to get on the bus. Waiting is hard to do, isn't it? Something we have to practice, practice, practice. Friends, I have some book suggestions for you. If you want, you can check these out from the library. You can give us a call or go online to reserve them. We would be happy to find books for you. Or if you want books on something else, we can find books for you on those things too. The first book I have is called Waiting is Not Easy. And it is by Mo Willems. This is an elephant and piggy story. And if you've never read a story about elephant and piggy, they are so, so, so silly. Elephant's name is actually Gerald. And this is a story about Piggy and Gerald. And Piggy has a surprise for Gerald, but he has to wait and wait and wait through almost the entire book to find out what the surprise is. And he has to practice waiting. And then at the very end, he finds out what the surprise is, but you need to check out the book so you can find out what the surprise is. The next book I have is called The Wheels on the Tuk Tuk. And you might have sang the song The Wheels on the Bus before. This is a version of that song, but it is about tuk tuks, which are kind of like buses that they have in India. This book is by Kabir Siegel and Suresh the Siegel. You go through the story and you sing verses like you sing on the wheels on the bus, except it is about tuk-tuks. I bet riding in a tuk-tuk is very similar to riding in a bus. Oh, this is my cat. My cat decided to visit. Hello, this is Nimby. She wanted to say hi to you. The last book I have to suggest to you is called The Last Stop on Market Street. And this is by Matt De La Pena, and the pictures are by Christian Robinson. And this is a story about CJ and his grandmother, and they are going on a bus, and they go across town on the bus, and they see lots of different people on the bus and wonder things about them. If you like to read stories that are a little bit longer, this is a good choice for you. It still has pictures, but it has a little more text. All right, friends, it's time for us to sing our goodbye song. Thank you so much for reading stories with me today. Our goodbye song is about animals. And don't worry, we'll go over them before we get started. All right, are you ready? We have an alligator a crocodile. What's this? Can you see? A ladybug. A jellyfish. Over here, do you know what this is? It's a special monkey. It's called a baboon. This is a, a dinosaur. And then down here, it's kind of hard to see. It's a polar bear. And at the very bottom, we have a butterfly. All right, are you ready? See you later, alligator in a wild crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. See you later, alligator in the wild crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. Wonderful! Friends, 
don't forget to follow us on social media at EVP Library and visit our website, evpl.org. We have 24 seven resources available on there for you. And don't forget to sign up for our summer, which is our summer learning program. You can do that online on our website, evpl.org through Beanstack, or you can call your favorite EVPL location and we can tell you how to get signed up. I hope you have a wonderful day. See you later.